I gave a knife to my brother because of the fight and he had been punched in the face. His eye was all black and it was all blue at this party. I told him to go kill him with the knife. And he took the knife and he stabbed this kid over and over again, stopped and then went back again and stabbed him again repeatedly. Till I think the kid just looked dead. He looked dead. So we figured he was dead. And we ran away. My dad came here. I mean, in, in Iran, he was an oil refining engineer. You know? He comes here, he has to work at the local Max, at a convenience store. I remember nights he would come home and he would be beaten and bruised because he had been robbed at the convenience store. And I remember those things and I remember how much he sacrificed, how much my mom sacrificed of herself, of her desires, of her dreams, just so that we could have something worthwhile. The gangster lifestyle or, or guys that get in trouble seem to be getting the attention. And I found myself in situations where I was starting to get into trouble. And as I got into trouble, I saw myself getting the attention that I was craving. It was for the wrong reasons, but nevertheless, it gave me something that I can put my trust and hope into. Hang out, you know, invite girls over invite friends over, you know? It's no different except if, than someone else with a normal life, except that we're doing something that's illegal, you know? You know, one guy on this side, he's pressing ecstasies. One guy on this side is playing with a gun, you know? Normal day in, for a kid in a gang. I mean, I had a fight with friend and then take him to the jail. Uh, I was very mad, but uh, my wife, she goes sick. And that time is very hard for me because she, she's uh, nervous, broke down, and she not eating for one week. She not eat anything and she lose the weight maybe around the 10 kilos, 20 pounds. And always she cried, day and night, always. She cried, cried. My mom uh, would just constantly cry and she would just pour her heart out every night. She'd be, she would tell me how much she loved me and, uh, why it was that uh, I was doing this with myself and with my life and my father would look at me and said what the heck is it that you want to do with yourself they gave me ultimatums you know get a job so I would get a job one day but their ultimate response was that they were disappointed I had nothing going for myself one times Around the middle night was when we live in Richmond, somebody is coming to uh, shot by gun to our house three times. And the time, uh, my wife goes to close the blind curtain. The bullet, maybe two inch, up to her head goes to the wall. It's 
It was a scary time. Yeah, that times were scary time. Somebody shot to our house three times. And I think that night I got to understand what I was involved in and what it meant to be involved in a lifestyle that I don't know, in a lifestyle that had no future had no future, and I got to understand that that night. I think four months, find a girlfriend, they come and marry, now they have a good life. I'm the best place in my life right now. The best place. I could never imagine being here. My father looks at me with pride now. My mother looks at me with joy because she sees that I'm doing something with myself. I'm getting the respect that I so desired in my life, you know? I wake up not feeling like I don't matter anymore. I feel like there's such a great purpose for my life all I have to do is look at my wife and look at my son and and I feel like I'm more successful than I could have ever imagined.